So you want to nab a husband, you want to get married. How do you nab someone? You know, how do you get somebody for life? How do you get a life partner? May I recommend being awesome? Guys want someone who's smart and savvy. I don't know where the whole like, act like a ditz, pretend you don't know about who FDR is. There's nothing sexier than a girl who's like, I know who FDR is, I know about the New Deal, I'm gonna give you a New Deal. Mm. And then, over a period of years, she structures uh, her sex acts in such a way that they save the economy. Marriage is not something you should do just because you want to have a stable life. It's something you should do because you've run out of options. You know the whole saying, all the good ones are taken? We'll be one of the people who take one of the good ones. Uh, you know, and make up your mind before 38. Uh, just always, you know, be hot and cold. Play with his emotions. Whatever a teacher does to a 13-year-old boy that makes them have sex and then try to murder someone, do those sorts of things. Big question for marriage. You know, there's two things people really talk about, and that is buying a home and how to decorate your pubes. <laughs> A way to a man's stomach, which is where ultimately you would like to be. You know, don't reveal how crazy you are for a few years. And then slowly, you know, he'll be like, oh, what do you want to, you want to go get some dinner tonight? And then just be like, I want to eat a helicopter. And then his first thought won't be, Oh man, I sh we should break up. He'll just be like, oh, is there a good helicopter restaurant in, in there? Say you've been dating somebody for years and you're not sure if they're gonna ask or what to do. If you kill yourself, uh, that will stay with them forever. Like a marriage. Oh, here's a, f here's a fun game. Here's a fun game that leads to marriage. Write down, each of you write down your fantasies and put them in a hat. And then you each pull them out. There's only two. And you act them out. And if one involves, like, coming in the face, whatever, give it a try. And you don't have to be like, ah, you can just be like, give it to me. You can just have a friend conduct a ceremony while your boyfriend is sleeping. And, you know, you kind of nudge him a little awake, and then your friend's like, do you take this woman to be your lovely? And then he's like, I do. And then you just wake him up, and you're like, hey, uh, you just married me. So, uh, no more BJs and clean up your shit. And then he's like, boo, boo.